guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling! So today I'm just overly excited because I am in Changsha and I'm doing this tourism event that I'm super excited about but I'm also excited because they checked me into this overly luxuri luxurious amazing hotel and you know me I'm used to really cheap places so coming to these really clean and nice hotels it's just a ah! <laughs> because I'm in this beautiful hotel I thought why not make a video for you guys about hotels in China, right? So yeah, let's do it! Today's video is going to be about the things you should know before checking into Chinese hotels and it, I'm also going to show you guys how you can book a hotel online here in China because it's actually not that difficult but sometimes you might feel like I don't know what I should do So, Ling Ling, Ling Ling Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Da -da, da -da. Okay, so the first thing you should know about Chinese hotels is that there is something called a foreigner license thing, certificate something here in China. So some hotels just will not accept foreigners. And I've heard people discuss this license before, like is it a real license, is it not a real license, are they just using it um, because they don't know how to read our passwords, I don't know. But the fact is that sometimes the hotel will refuse to let you check in because you're a foreigner. How can you deal with this? Well, you can check it online before you go to the hotel or you can ask in the reception and if they say no, you just can't get in. Or you can call the hotel in advance and make sure that foreigners always also allowed to stay there. Number two, in China there is very often a language barrier. It's not only in the hotels but it also happens in hotels. <laughs> Obviously in the bigger chain fancy hotels like this hotel people do speak English so no problem but if you're going to smaller hotels or like really really small hotels or cheap really cheap hotels then you might bump into a language barrier so be prepared download Pleco the dictionary offline dictionary on your phone so you're ready to put in some words if you're totally lost and they don't understand what you are saying <laughs> number three also very important always bring cash when you're going to a hotel I don't know why but they just cannot take foreign cards you can pay with WeChat and Alipay very often but again if if you're not a, living in China then you won't have that so bring cash just to make sure do not ever assume that they can take your visa no matter how big or fancy the hotel is just saying it's good to bring cash <laughs> okay number four don't expect too many smiles in a Chinese hotel like service-minded is still kind of a a new thing in China so again as I said it really depends on the hotel obviously but I've been traveling to a lot of different hotels and I learned very fast that in the big hotels like here they learn to smile and say hello to all their customers but in smaller hotels that's not the case and very often you feel like you're disturbing the receptionist because you're coming and asking questions or just want to check in and she's like la 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 playing on her phone you know but don't be angry that's just it's very common it's just whatever you know so, number five <laughs> that's another interesting thing the Chinese hotels they usually have a Chinese name and an English name okay so the problem is that very often those two names have no similarities at all so the problem is when you're going to the hotel and you're telling the driver I'm looking for this kind of hotel you say it in English because you don't remember or you don't know how to say it in Chinese he's gonna be like eh? Yeah, he's gonna be really confused. So it's a super, super good idea to bring the address you got online when you book the hotel, bring it in Chinese with the characters, not only pinyin, Chinese characters. So you can show people and they will point and send you in the right direction. So those were the five tips I had or like things you should know before you're going to the Chinese hotels. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how to book a hotel in China. I'm just gonna talk from my own own personal experience I always use uh, booking.com because booking.com always tell me if foreigners can stay in the hotel or not well actually it says only mainland Chinese citizens so when I search a city or a hotel I click in the hotel and it will say immediately 
the first sentence only mainland Chinese citizens and I'm like okay fine then I can't go there so that's a problem if my Chinese friends they book for us and they book from uh, via a Chinese website because they obviously don't say that so they always have to call and very often the hotel says no <laughs> I don't use other websites so I can't say if any other websites are doing the same but I always use booking.com also the cool thing is that with booking.com you can book a hotel but you're not gonna pay anything before you arrive so so you can cancel last minute and very often you don't pay anything. So that's another perk of using uh, booking.com. So now you got the information what to know before you're going to a Chinese hotel. And I also told you where you can find your hotel and make sure the foreigners can stay there. The third thing is if you're nervous about your vocabulary or you're not sure how to say what when you're checking in, then I would suggest you to check out this really cool website called Chinese Pod. I use it a lot as well. Basically, you can have it on the computer and on your phone so I just have it here Chinese pot and then I download different episodes and there are also episodes on how to book a hotel and how to check in on uh, check in in the hotel so you can learn a lot of vocabulary you should definitely check this website out I have the link below as well Chinese pot it's a super cool website you can learn a lot from there so you can um, learn some vocabulary before you're going to the hotel and when you get to the hotel you're like I just know exactly what I'm saying what I'm doing and I totally understand what they're saying to me how cool is that I know I know <laughs> anyways um, there is also a discount code you can check out below as well called Lena pot how cool is that I actually would love it if it was Ling Ling pot maybe I'll ask them to change it Anyways, <laughs> okay, guys, I hope this was useful. Uh, don't be scared of going to a Chinese hotel. It's not a scary uh, situation at all. If you don't know what to say and you don't want to learn any vocabulary before you're going, you basically just bring your passport and then you just give it to them. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple. There we go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a nice trip to China next time you're coming here. I hope that you will love it just as much as I do. And I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling Sat. See ya and 再见. Bye-bye.